no no it's a, it's a very good question so actually i i think i i I, I lost a lot of friends by saying that NPS is actually not so relevant as everyone uh, said it was. I, I think it was a few years ago uh, because it was kind of this hyped metric for, oh, this is how we solved uh, the, the, the churn problem or, or figuring out if our customers are happy or not. But I believe that it's not so easy to um, like, where do you ask NPS? It's, it's the number is super highly um depending on where you know you could ask it in a transaction you could ask it uh, on a regular basis and so i believe that it's 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 also why i'm often using it in one sentence saying mps or cset i actually prefer cset to mps because it's more rather uh, giving an emotional kind of state of your customer how like do they uh, like, are they happy or not? And then you ask them the qualitative question. I think often the qualitative question is even more important than the pure trend line. But for managers, they want to have a number, you know, they can communicate a number and they say, everything is fine. We have an MPS right. score of X. But I believe um, they are off that, that, that that's not enough and you have to dive deeper. And